Hey YouTube, this is Birdie, and um, in my previous three videos I talked about the introductory box from Darn Good Yarns, uh, January's box, which is number two, and February's box, which is number three. Now we're going to work on number four, which should have been in March's box. Um, like I stated before, you always, if you subscribe today, you will get the introductory box, and then you'll get the second, third, and fourth. But you can email them and they will start you. If you don't want those boxes, they can skip those boxes and start you at May next month. Well, as you notice, the um, introductory box, I didn't have enough um, yarn to finish a project. So it's going to be one line shorter than what it's supposed to be. Well, I done the January box and I did the little pouch. And this is line 16 and they're supposed to be line 17. And this is the only thing I have left. So I guess instead of a chain, I'm just going to stick this in here. And then that will be my drawstring instead of um, a chain. Because as I just showed you, I didn't have enough. I also only got 16 lines instead of 17 like the um, the pattern said. So again, I did not have enough yarn to complete the pattern that came with the came came in the booklet. And I used the size hook that it's supposed to have used. The bag is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, but but that's kind of cool but I really do like it I like the yarn my brother wants this yarn because he kind of wants a hat done in it he said that the colors were really pretty so So, this is what it looks like. It's kind of big. Here it is compared to a pop. That's kind of cool. So, that is done with January. I will start working on February's pretty soon. But remember guys, you always get the introductory, the introductory box first. And that has the needles and that one color, that um, watercolor um, ball. Now, here is March's. The subscription is $10 a month. Um, I think shipping for USA um, in-state is um, three, uh, $3.95, so the box is $13.95. It says that shipping can be up to $14, so I guess international. So here's what the box says. Darn good yarn. Starts at love. Enjoy your journey and make it yours. Nico and the a Darn Good Yarn crew. The side says, My yarn and I are similar as I unwind, as it unwinds, I do too. Yarn is my happy place. I craft so hard, I sweat glitter. And then when you open it, there's what it looks like. The yarn you get is this one. And it says that it's a sparkling tweed recycled silk begonia, and it's a 50 grams, 55 yards. It's a four a medium, and um, pulled silk and Sierra silk, S I M S A I R I S A R I. It's hand washed. Knitting gauges is 4.5, 5.5 millimeters, US 7 and 9. Crochet gauge is 5.5, 6.5 millimeters. USI 9 to 10.5 and that's the color it is I think it's really pretty and then you get this it's a tassel I really like this I like the colors I think it's fun I think I'm going to put it on my back wall so I can see it every day it's really good I don't see any kind of loose strands I did notice the first time I brought it out there was some strands that fell on the table but um, other than that, I think it looks really nice. 
it's really bright I know that you can buy this on their site for $11.99 and here's the claw hook and um, it's not flimsy so I think that's really cute and of course you'll probably see it on my back wall because I think it's just cute and the last thing in there is our little pamphlet darn good yarn of the month and then of course you get a letter from Nicole and then you get description of the yarn and the um, and our gift to you so it says hey there how are things going do you love your box we always love to hear feedback from our amazing subscribers feel free to drop us a note anytime info at darngoodyarn.com this month we received our our sparkled tweed recycled silk yarn in begonia vibrant and blissful this yarn combines tradition and contemporary to give you the best of both worlds the base is made of the same pulled silk as our best-selling lace weight silk yarn and the sparkling woven into it are from Sarah silk scraps the vivid colors luscious and fun texture of this yarn is like a little slice of heaven in your hand continue the yarn club conversation join our facebook group darn good yarn of the month club it's an exclusive group for club yarn club members only and it's a great place for creative inspirations seeing what's new and see what's more hope to see you soon um, www.facebook.com a group darn good yarn club have questions and we're here to help send an um, email to info at darn good yarn dot com xoxo nico and it is a bright magenta dark blue and purple hues in the deal and then they gave us two crochet they gave us a knit pattern of the bobble bra uh, bracelet and a crochet pattern i think that's what i'm gonna do then they gave you a knit of the Gemini cow and they gave you a crochet of the Gemini cow. I think I'm going to do this one. And uh, so y'all might be seeing it later on. But again, remember guys, I emailed them and they let me buy all boxes to bring me up to May. Um, and so if you need, if you don't like these boxes, tell them that you want to skip certain numbers and um and that way you can be brought up to may also and um i just want to tell you all that so far i really like it i didn't have enough yarn but i think that's because i don't do it tight enough or i do it but i don't know about the bag because it's kind of tight i should have had i needed one more line but i still think it's kind of cute um but my my cow i'm kind of upset but it'll be six lines instead of seven um I have one more box for y'all, and that is April, and then next month I will start the uh, May one, and then I'll just be like on a regular schedule with everybody else. Um, I will try to have the shawl done by the May, and this bobble bracelet done by May. And I'll talk to y'all later, and y'all have a great day. Hope y'all are enjoying these and that they're um, kind of um, informative. Um, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment and I'll try to answer it. I'll even talk to them. I'm not sponsored by them, but so far their customer service has been really good with answering questions and giving me feedback. Um, I did tell them that I didn't get enough yarn for that one, so we'll see what happens. I'm not going to pull it out until after I hear from them and, um, and everything, but um, I just want to let y'all know that I've always been concerned because everybody seems to not keep on um, getting them unless they get them by um, paying for them so I wanted to know exactly what you needed to do and how you needed to do it and so if you don't like these you can skip them and go to the next box and um, just email them and talk to them they seem really nice and I'll talk to y'all later have a great day guys bye